Thanks for tuning in to yet another video. We are out here. Beautiful weather out here, here in California, of course. You could ride around here year round. And we're here looking at the Lowrider S, my Lowrider S. So I already had walk rounds and updates on the bike. So I purchased this back in February, I believe. And now we're in, what is it, June? And we're at 1,000 miles. So 1,000 miles in, guys. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, we get a whole, a whole lot more in on the Lowrider S. So, I mean, what is it to say about the bike? She handles like a dream, honestly. She's a, she's a beast. She is a beast. 1,000 miles in, a lot of modifications onto the bike. So comparing it stock, it's difficult uh, to explain, you know. Once you change the risers and all these other things, the seat, and it's just, it, it becomes a whole different bike. So I guess we could say starting from a stock bike, She's perfect. Suspension, I like it. A lot of people say it's crap. I don't know. I've always uh, had shitty, uh, shitty suspension bikes. So for me to compare this bike to my, to what I know, honestly, I've always had a carbureted engine. So this is my first fuel injected uh, uh, motorcycle. You know, I've, I've never was the one to kind of, you know, buy something new and keep on purchasing and just I don't know the whole thought of just having payments on the bike and that's what deterred me from 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 buying you know a Dyna or, or something kind of newer you know I've always looked for, for the bargains and and since I've always looked for bargains and looked for for cheap 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 I would always get uh, bikes they were reliables you know they, 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 I didn't have major major issues except for the Sportster but you know I, I've always been happy with those bikes and now that I've ridden uh, the Lowrider S, it's kind of difficult to kind of go back to, to those other bikes. And just the suspension is one, the torque of the, uh, of the 114 is two, and uh, it's just the look of the, the bike, it's just, it's, a, it's, it's beautiful, I like it. 1,000 miles in, I'm happy with the torque, the feel, the suspension, the sound, everything, you know, that you get when you buy a Harley. It's just, uh, it, it's a feeling that, uh, you don't know, you just can't really describe it, so. I'm happy with the purchase, you know, and I'm glad I went with, and I'm, I'm, I'm definitely happy that I waited for the Lowrider S. You know, I was this close on pulling the trigger on the 2019. You know, when I saw the 2018, I was like, man, that's a nice bike. The, 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 the Lowrider 2018s. They look nice, but they have a lot of chrome, so it was like that. Uh, and this was around the time uh, they stopped making the uh, the Dyna Lowriders. So, like, man. And then the 2019 came out, and I was like, man, they haven't announced anything of the Lowrider of the of the Lowrider S. I like that one, you know. This this is what I wanted with the uh, with the rims too, you know, the, the bronze color rims. So I waited, you know. But I was this close, I'm just going, you know what? I'm just going to get the 2019 Lowrider buy that 107 looks good it's a good looking bike it's got the five gallon tank on it but i'm glad i didn't and the next year they, they announced the uh they announced this on the lowrider s and i was really happy i'm taking back dual disc brakes 114 blacked out everything no chrome good handlebars five inch risers and uh, man you, the list goes on and on you know, abs uh, the air filter, the air filter on the 114, it, it, it looks good. It's, it's a beautiful air filter too as well. And here, here I am now in June, 1,000 miles in. I am, I am definitely happy with the bike. Just, and just comparing it from, from what I'm used to, you know, from, from, from what I'm used to, it's, uh, it's like driving around in a caddy after, after owning a Pinto. You know, after owning a Pinto for so long, it's you know it's it's the difference of night and day. So 
mean, what else is there to say? If you're out there shopping, you're looking at buying a Harley Davidson and you're wondering about the soft tails or you know, the Dinas or whatever, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of things uh, to look into, but price-wise, price-wise, you can't go wrong with the 20, 2018s and up soft tails. Even the used ones, you could probably find a few for like $13,000, which is pretty good. So 1,000 miles in, I am happy with the purchase, the handling, the, the responsiveness of the throttle. Uh, and just and then the the aftermarket is there's a vast market for these bikes that a lot of the about a lot of the parts that you can purchase from the aftermarket is uh, so easy I mean they make parts specifically for these soft tails so you don't have to kind of like wanna kind of like how I own my my metric cruiser you don't have to uh, modify the parts because a lot of those parts I had to modify myself using uh, the sheet metal and using uh, L brackets and all this other stuff so you don't have to do that with these bikes you buy something off of Harlan Ness, Trask you know custom dynamics any aftermarket component or part that you purchase for the bike it's gonna fit on the bike and most likely it's a bolt-on, you know, it's just a quick disconnect and reconnect and I mean that's also one of the, the reasons why you purchase a purchase a, a Harley Davidson, just the aftermarket the aftermarket is wide and uh, there's there's so many stuff for you to purchase so 1,000 miles in I'm happy with the bike, I love it I'm a happy boy so if you have any questions leave them in the comments you guys want to know anything about the heart about the about the lowrider s i'm usually answering questions so like the video if you like the video you know and uh, hit the subscribe button if you guys want to so thanks for watching later